Interim conservative leader Ronna Ambrose is ending her career in federal politics. Ambrose will be stepping down and resigning her seat by the end of June. And CTV News has confirmed she will be going to work in Washington, D.C. With more on this, I'm joined by CTV's Michelle Boyer. Michelle, good morning to you. Ronna Ambrose has just wrapped up speaking this morning. She made it official? Yeah, she did. And you know what? She uh, was a little... Uh, she was a little emotional talking about it, you know, talked about her time living in Stornoway, Marcia, uh, talking about her spouse, JP, and how he never thought that he would be able to host tea parties, and she joked uh, that he did, and he did it well. Uh, you know, this marks the end of a, a political career for Ronna Ambrose, very well-respected woman here in Ottawa, uh, has led the Conservative Party after a devastating loss uh, when, St when Stephen Harper uh, lost the last election and has really turned the party around. I want to share part of her speech with you uh, after she announced that she was going to be uh, resigning her seat as an MP. Take a look. It's been amazing. Anyone who's in the room that's an MP knows what a privilege it is to get to serve the people that vote for you. But as my time comes to an end, I think it's important to look forward. So I am, as you know, going to be leaving uh, my, resigning my seat as Member of Parliament after the House rises in the summer um, and to seek a new chapter in my life. So uh, there it is, Michelle. What do you think her legacy has been? Well, certainly reforming the party, and as far as tone is concerned, a lot of conservatives here have told me, you know, why they think they lost, and it was because uh, it was the tone, it was a sense of entitlement that just uh, Canadians did not want to hear. Uh, she's also going to be remembered for standing up for women. Uh, of course, that is what she did before coming into politics, and she did that. Uh, with a bill that was just talked about yesterday, Marcia, particularly uh, a bill that addresses, uh, that makes sure that newly appointed federal judges get uh, sexual assault training. Uh, so that is certainly going to be on uh, something that she's going to be remembered for. And she's going to be an ally for Canada in Washington. She's going to w work for the Woodrow Wilson Center, a nonpartisan think tank uh, in D.C. And she may end up being a very good ally uh, for Justin Trudeau to have as this government navigates a new political reality between the two countries. So uh, it's a big day for Ron Ambrose. And uh, she says that she's really left whoever the party elects uh, in, uh, at the end of the month uh, with some solid foundation to move forward uh, in, for the next mandate. All right, Michelle, thanks for that. Appreciate it. We'll check in Thank with you, you later.